I finally found Tania Root here. Growing up, one of my all-time favorite computer games and one of the things that kind of helped foster my interest in, uh, in rainforests was the 1996 game Amazon Trail 2. In that game, you were traveling down the Amazon River in a canoe, fishing along the way, stopping to take pictures of animals in the rainforest and pick fruit, meeting people from different uh, people groups and historical figures as well, and uh, just stuff like that. But my favorite part was always stopping to pick the fruit. Some of them were more familiar to Canadian markets, bananas, plantain, passion fruit, cashews, so still never tried cashew apples, um, Brazil nuts, but some of them weren't so familiar. Soursop I got to try about five or six years ago. Peach palm I got to try a few years later when I was in Ecuador. And now I've found the second last one. Still no patua palm. That, that was always the hardest one to find in the game too, so that, I mean, that makes sense. Apparently, Tania root is grown in a lot of Latin America, but it gets really confusing because it's got a ton of different local names and sometimes those names can refer to other vegetables in other places and then you get English websites confusing it and sometimes just saying that all of those names refer to taro and you know confusion like that that happens on the internet but taro I mean the mistake it's understandable similar looking leaves similar kind of overall shape of the plant similar although smaller looking edible root but um, this is not taro same family different genus and unlike taro this is actually native to the Americas. And now I'm going to find out if the taste is similar. This is exciting. I'm expecting kind of a generic root vegetable taste, soft and starchy and otherwise just inoffensive, but, uh, but maybe, uh, maybe I'll be surprised. This turned out to be a little bit awkward to dig out, but uh, managed eventually. And, ouch, that was an ant. Yep, ow. You can cook this a lot like other root vegetables, I'll just do it plain this time to get the base flavor. Yeah, just boiling it with salt. Okay, so this is the, um, the final cooked stuff here. Uh, it came across just an interesting problem while I was cooking these. I looked it up a bit further on the internet. It's hard to find stuff in English on how to cook this stuff that goes into any real depth. Turns out some of them were saying you don't actually cook the, uh, the central tuber, you only cook the parts, the, the cormals that come as offshoots, uh, that the other one isn't edible. Now, is that because, like these things, they take boiling the tar out of them to get them soft? Or is that because they're higher in calcium oxalate, which they do have, similar to taro? I'm not sure. I have the, uh, the offshoots here, so I'm going to try that. I, they cooked a lot quicker, so that might be part of why. The other part, I've cooked about an hour boiling it, and it's just starting to get soft now. So, a little odd. But I'm going to try the part that is for sure edible here, <laughs> the uh, offshoot. And... Hmm. Okay. Well salted. Um, that's pretty good. It's got a... Um, slightly not just a, as soft not a, quite as soft as a potato a little bit more of a chewy texture i would say similar to a uh, winged bean root i don't know how helpful of a comparison that will be to everyone watching uh, other than my papua new guinean viewers maybe but yeah okay not um yeah not a bad texture there got a flavor not that much flavor, but it's a pleasant root vegetable flavor. Not quite like potato, I would say. Um, mm. A little closer to cassava. But, um, yeah, pretty mild. A little bit nutty. Very slightly sweet. Yeah, somewhere between cassava and taro, I would say. And, yeah, okay, the purple color came through. It was pink at first, but kind of turned purple. The water is significantly purple at this point. Um, mm, yeah, no, that's a good vegetable there. Oh, there's a bat. So, I'm going to, don't try this at home, but I'm going to try the central tuber. What? Don't? What are this poisonous? Oh. Like, what if they have legit reasons 
for telling you not to eat it, other than it just takes a long time to eat or cook. That's a good point. I'm going to taste it and spit it out. If anyone knows more about this, uh, please comment down below. But uh, yeah. Hmm. Be right back. Yeah, so that basically tasted identical there. And um, that part had been cooked to softness. Yeah. That tastes good too. So, I mean, if you know anything more, let me know if I just made a mistake in doing that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, tania root. It's, um, it's a pretty good vegetable worth including in Amazon Trail. So that was perhaps a bit of a foolish thing to do. I'll refrain from eating any more until I have a bit more information. Uh, and if you know more, please comment. I'd love to figure that out. So anyways, yeah, that's all I have for this time. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And for more weird and wonderful plants from around the world and sometimes from old computer games, join me next time on Ambling with Sam. Join me next time on Ambling with Sam. She told me to be more enthusiastic. Did that, was that okay? That was that, okay, well, we'll see how this looks in post. <laughs>